<laughs> Hello. Eric wants to stroke him. than yesterday. I think that blood kicked in. Don't go in here because you've not got wellies on. I think the blood that I had in hospital before I left has kicked in because I feel really good now. I feel more like myself. I don't feel like a zombie and I don't feel half as tired. Um, we're just on way to swimming. Uh, we're just going to swim today and we've just been to Costa so we're just having like a nice local sort of easy day. And I'm on the mobility school today and I really hope maybe this is one of the last times that I might use it. I'm not sure because my mobility is getting better every day and um, maybe I'll be able to ditch it this week hopefully. It's just because swimming is about 25 minute walk from my house so the, and the, we, we live on top of a really big hill as well. So I'm just going to try and take it easy this week, use the scooter when I need to. I'm down to using one crutch, which is like I'm not even trying to just use one crutch. It just feels more comfortable to use one crutch instead of using two. And I might um, I might be able to try and not use any by the end of the week. I'm not sure, but I'm not going to rush myself and stuff like that because I just want to be make sure that I'm really comfortable on my feet. I feel so steady though on my feet. It feels really, really good and it gives me a lot of confidence and it really means a lot to me that like even Ollie said today I can't believe how mobile you are to say it's only three days four days three or four something like that full stop so don't go in there without wellies on and um yeah so that's it really we're just gonna ha see what the day brings we're gonna take one day at a time um we haven't got any plans for any any day this week apart from friday which is when we go to leeds so we'll see what we do hopefully it stays relatively dry and we'll see if i need the scooter anymore you know this scooter means a lot to me because it getting it made me like it gave me a little bit of freedom back and it we've took it everywhere on trips on holidays everything and it's going to be really weird to not use it but i obviously i can't wait to not need it anymore so yeah it's going to be really strange when i don't need it anymore but i'm really ready to not need it anymore if that makes sense um, and be able to go for a little stroll on my feet. I can't wait. Um, I asked Eric today when I was in the kitchen and I was just using um, one crutch. Oh, actually, I wasn't using any because I was just using the kitchen side to get around. And I was stood really dead straight and I was like, you know, weight bearing. And um, I felt relatively normal because I didn't have any pain at that point. And I was just stood in the kitchen and I said to Eric, what do you think I look like stood like this? And he said, you look pregnant. And I think it doesn't mean like I've got a big belly or anything. I think he means because the last time he saw me like that, I was pregnant. The last time he saw me being able to walk properly was when I was pregnant with Felix. So that's going to be his last memory of it. And it just it really, it was, it was a big thing to hear that, you know, it made me realise that it's been that long since like he saw me being able to walk normally and I'm so ready for that this whole chapter to be over and to start sort of fresh again.
Now half past two, Eric and Olive have been swimming. Was it good? It's raining and we can go home and play. Did you have fun? I can't wait to be able to come swimming again. I mean, I don't even like swimming, but now I can't go. I'm like, I really want to go swimming. <laughs> so, can't oh, wait for that. I can get my wound thing, plaster thing off in two weeks before Hydra and then hopefully I can go swimming. It'll be really good for us all to go together because I just wait in the cafe and like watch them at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's raining. Yeah, when we get home. Right, we're going to go home now through the park. They might think, they might think we've got something. Oh, it's not good to litter, is it? They could turn round and bite you. Hi, I fell on and off all day. We were swimming and I suddenly got, I felt so sick and I felt really tired and then I felt all right and then I felt really sick and tired again and then I felt fine and then when we got home I felt really sick and tired again and now I feel fine again. So who knows but I thought while I feel fine I'll finish off this video and I felt really inspired earlier on to write a list down of things I definitely want to do before Ollie goes back to work, sort of like a little bucket list. He goes back to work in, it's at the end of February and we've got quite a lot planned already um, but you know what I'm like, I absolutely love to go places and do things and I don't do things by half measures so I thought I'll get things written down and also I'll talk about them here too so you can like get some inspiration maybe or maybe you can help we plan some trips that we're going to go on like things to do and see so i've got my list here and to be honest we probably won't get to do all of these things like money wise and also just how many things there are but i did this i did a sort of list like this when i was pregnant of things i wanted to do before i had baby and it really helped me like narrow down what i wanted to do and it gave me inspiration and stuff so even if we don't get to do it all it's still a really good idea so i'll go ahead so the first one's lofton hall so we're going to leeds on Friday we're going to Lofton Hall. I've always wanted to go. It's for the Christmas thing. Um, we're staying over, so that's Friday and Saturday. On New Year's Day, we're going to Lady Bower. I haven't been to Lady Bower for years, and I've been really wanting to go in the last few months, but it would have been just far too complicated with the scoot and everything. Um, we we stayed at Lady Bower Inn. It's a really nice B and B. Um, years ago for my birthday and I booked it for New Year's Day so we're going to stay overnight and I really want to hire bikes from Fairhome so we're going to do that and I really can't wait and the next sort of the first big trip we're going on is London so we've got that booked for it's um, the second week in January but we're going to Surrey first and we're going to the Brook we're staying at the Brooklands Hotel which is on the racetrack and we're going to the Mercedes like place which is a museum and we're going to Brooklyn's museum too and then so we're staying there overnight and then the second day we're going into London we're going to Greenwich we're staying in London for a night and then we're going into like you know central London and we're staying in Notting Hill for five nights um so that's going to be a really fun week I can't wait I love going to like all different places so I really can't wait for that and I think Eric is absolutely going to love Mercedes World and it's free as well like he's been asking to see a real racetrack for for ages he's obsessed with cars and the Brooklyn's museum look, looks absolutely amazing as well so we're doing them next thing I've got on my list is I really like to go to Manchester we go to Manchester a few times a year but it's definitely something I want to do before Ella goes back to work maybe for a weekend or three nights or something like that I want to see the new exhibition at um, Z Arts which is where the last Julia Donaldson exhibition was and I didn't get to see it the new one is a tiger who came to tea and mog and i really want to go to that and i want to go to um chill factory which is like the indoor snow zone place and that looks really good i've never done that before i've never been to anywhere like that and i want to do like all the trafford stuff so life and trafford um, and Lego we've done those before you can get a combo ticket and I want to go to play factory which is a really big soft play 
um, we went years ago but Eric was really tiny but it's absolutely crazy in there and I think Eric would be nuts about it and I really want to play with him on all the stuff so I really want like a big all the stuff in Manchester um, I've also got Birmingham I don't know if we'll make this one but I would really like to go again we went to Birmingham in August after I had my first surgery we took the scooter and everything and I'd really like to go back walking because it would just be really nostalgic but also there's still loads of stuff that we didn't do last time that I'd like to do next time and I just really like Birmingham and it's not that far and there's loads of places to stay we stayed in the Premier Inn last time at the Bull Ring which was really good and yeah that's another thing next thing is chester zoo again maybe on the coach again so again a couple months ago we went to chester zoo on the coach with max max fields travel i just googled coach trips and i found i found them and um it was really easy going to like with scooter because they can just put it in the big boot but they i've been on their website and seen their day trips for next year and they've got another chester zoo one coming up and we really liked it and we had such a good time and again like the nostalgia thing i think it'd be really good to go back but this time walk in and i'll just have a completely different experience so i'm thinking of booking that one um i've also got liverpool on the list this is another place i really love we went last year or was it earlier this year no it was earlier this year we went and i re i vowed i must go back so i'd really like to go back to liverpool and they've got a new yha just opened as well we stayed in yha last time the one near albert docks but they've got another one open so we're yha members as well so we get discount and i'd really like to go there we of course love to do all the museums and everything it's just a really nice place I, I was really impressed when we went by the way the places that we have been like birmingham and manchester and liverpool and everything it's all on my blog so if you want to like read about what we've done or find out things to do then just go and have a look at all that on my website um next thing is longshore i absolutely love longshore and yeah it is accessible and you know they've got like flat pass but i haven't been since i was pregnant and because we need to get the bus there and i can't take the mobility scooter on a bus and i really didn't want to take the wheelchair so i haven't been since i was pregnant and i absolutely love that place so definitely going to do a few walks at longshore near to longshore as well i really like to, i'd like to stay at the habitage wire chair i've never stayed there before but i thought seeing as i really want to go and do lots of walks around the area it'd be really good to stay at the wire chair in habitage and just like explore more around the area and remember so if we go on like a weekday it'll be really cheap and the next few things are classes that i'd really like to do do some of them with eric do some of them with felix or both of them together i haven't done anything like that at all since felix was born so i've got dinky discoverers music books play times and mess around south yorkshire and these are all i'd love to do these and I definitely i'm going to do them before ollie goes back to work but also i can do them when ollie's gone back to work as well um dinky discoverers like alice is amazing at what she does it's like a stem class and i'd really like to do that with eric yeah i'd really like to do that with eric um, and I think Ollie would probably like to come along as well. Music books, I was supposed to do this with um, with Felix when he was born, but obviously with everything going off, I couldn't. And I, really, I went to a little taster with Eric when I was pregnant and I was really impressed with it. It's like music sensory and it's just down the road. Claire actually does one just down the road in Morrison so I can walk there and back which is perfect and I really want to take Felix um yeah I'm definitely doing that as soon as possible in fact I can do it in a few weeks so I better get in contact with Claire I really recommend it uh, next one is playtimes I really wanted to do playtimes with Eric but I thought maybe he was a bit too old for it but I really want to take Felix playtimes is the best sensory class in Sheffield I think everyone knows that Lucy is just absolutely amazing at what she does and I have so much respect for her. She's so hard working and yeah, she's just, she's a real inspiration to me. She's a fantastic businesswoman and she's great at what she does. I've worked with her in the past um, with advertising on my website and she's helped me loads with lots of stuff with collaborations and Christmas parties and also, so big love, big love to Lucy. And I really want to take Felix to her classes. Um, I haven't done them before, but I think he would absolutely love them because he's like really into sensory stuff at the moment. And as I was, as I was saying, she does them at Medieval Mayhem and that's perfect because I can take both of them. So I really want to go before Ollie starts work because like 
it will definitely be a good day out for all of us because then Eric can have fun at Medieval Mayhem because he absolutely loves it, the soft play and everything. And I can take Felix to the class and I thought we can even do that while I'm like still recovering really because it's really gentle and it's like quite easy and I can just take him to the sensory class and Eric can play with Ollie in the soft play. So if you do play tags, let me know because maybe we could go together or something, but I'm really excited about that. And the next one is Messing Around South Yorkshire. This is something I've only just found in the last few weeks but um everywhere i put i posted about it on my community group and loads of people were like yeah these classes are amazing but sort of a backstory i never used to do like me anything messy play with eric when he was little because he was never into it and he's still not into it he's never been the type to like messy play but i found mess around south yorkshire and they're like the best messy play classes in in the region and it looks absolutely amazing it's like imagine like the best tough trays you see on pinterest but like you can go to the class and it's all done for you and felix is way more relaxed and into stuff than eric was and i think he definitely would be into messy play but what makes these classes amazing is that you can take an older sibling because they have like a special area where they've got activities for older siblings up to the age of eight so I can take Eric with me and there'll still be stuff for him to do, but there'll be stuff for Felix to do as well. So Eric won't be like stuck with the baby tough trays and Felix will have loads of stuff, sensory messy play and everything. And they do like themed ones, they've got Christmas ones and they do them at Theatre Derry as well, which is in town so that like, we can combine it with a day out into town. I'm really excited about it, as you can probably tell. Um, I think I might go to a Christmas one. I've got my eye on there's a Christmas one in January, um, but they get they like fill up and they sell out really quickly. So I've got my eye on that, but that's definitely something I want to do. If you've been to them, by the way, I'll probably me know. do way more stuff as well because that's just what we end up doing. Um, I can think of loads more off the top of my head, like Chatsworth. Um, but it's really tricky, tricky as well because the wet, like it's it's cold now and it's winter, so there's loads of stuff I want to do, but I'll have to wait until the summer or at least when the weather gets better. But um, oh, there's other stuff as well, Barnsley. So I really want a good day out in Barnsley. Probably actually will stay over because there's like so much I want to do. Like I want to go to Calypso Cove. Um, I really want to go swimming because I've never been a fan of swimming, but now I've not been able to go swimming with Eric. I like life's too short and I, he loves swimming as well so i really want to go to calypso cove because it's crazy and we've never been and i think Harry would like it and there's loads of other stuff as well experience barnsley i haven't been for ages it's a really good museum i haven't been to the library since it changed and was all done up cooper gallery i haven't been for ages i really want to go to the new is it glassworks like the new building with the all the restaurants and the bowling and marketplace with the like the the street food place looks absolutely amazing amazing so there's loads of stuff i want to do in barnsley um and bonus it's really close as well eureka i'd really like to go and stay in bradford overnight and go to the science and media museum and also go to eureka i haven't been to eureka in years um eric was never really a massive fan uh, just because of like how busy it was and like so many kids he's never been into stuff like that unfortunately but i'd really like to take felix now and maybe eric will be more into it now he's a bit older um so i really like to do that and go to the peace hall as well that's really nice and the science and media museum which i think eric would be really much more into now wonder lab is really good and i think felix would enjoy wonder lab but also the more older stuff as well and rock up climbing at meadow hall i really want to do the climbing walls on my own this is something that i would never have done before i got a new hip and now i'm like i want to do it like it just looks so fun and so crazy and yeah just something i would never have done but now i'm like i need to do it and and the last one is snow dome snow dome there's one in um in tamworth um which when we went to drayton manor earlier this year when i was pregnant we went to thomas land and i noticed there was a snow a snow dome there and i know there's one in xscape as well in lead so i'm not sure which one we're gonna go to and also there's the um there's the chill factory in manchester so i definitely want to go to one and i want to go to one that's got like tobogganing and stuff like that this is something i've never done before and i really want to do um if you've been to one please let me know which one you went to and what it was like 
I've got to go now because Felix is getting fussy. But I hope you've enjoyed listening to all this stuff. And if there's anything that you've been to and could recommend or anywhere you'd like to go that I've mentioned, please let me know. This stuff, like talking about this stuff, is really up my street, as you can probably tell, because that's why I write my blog. But, yeah, I could talk about this all day. Oh, and another thing I'd really like to do is um, make, like, meetups and meet a lot of you all. Please let me know if you'd like to do that and we can just like meet up in a soft play, something like that. Um, it would be fantastic to put names, to put faces to names and oh, look at him. I better go, but thank you for watching today's vlogmas and I'll see you tomorrow.